Next generation is going to be here before we know it, and it's just crazy how fast this current one has been. I remember the unveiling for those consoles like it was yesterday, and now we're knocking on the door for the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox 2, or the next box, or Project Scarlet, or whatever the hell they're eventually going to be calling this thing. But anyway, even though we don't have a ton of information, we do have a few tidbits that Sony and Microsoft have provided for us, such as backwards compatibility, custom solid state drives, and obviously more powerful hardware. But what other features are you hoping to see for the next generation? The first thing that I am really hoping for is more game subscription services. I have said previously that I think this is going to be playing a huge role in the future of gaming, and I'm sticking by it. Microsoft's Game Pass is a fantastic service, and we have had EA's access for a few years now, and next month we are going to be getting Uplay Plus for PC, and fingers crossed it's going to make its way over to consoles. And with all of these services, I am hoping and expecting the PlayStation 5 gives us an upgrade to PlayStation Now. And hopefully that will include PlayStation 4 and obviously PlayStation 5 games. I would also love to see something similar to Games Pass Ultimate that bundles in PlayStation Now and PlayStation Plus. But the thing that really sets apart Sony from everyone else is its list of incredible exclusive games. So I'm not really sure if they're going to want to offer those at one monthly price instead of selling the games outright. But with Microsoft doing this and them now allowing EA access on PlayStation 4, I wouldn't be too surprised to see a service of their own launch with the PlayStation 5. And to go along with the subscription services, I would like to see some streaming of games. Stadia is coming later this year and Sony and Microsoft have teamed up to make sure that Google is not the only provider of a game streaming service. And I'm in love with this idea. I think playing your games on any device that's connected to the internet is a fantastic idea and I, I'm so excited for it. Obviously we can already stream games on current consoles and PCs, but this requires that your devices be turned on while streaming. I'm hoping that this future will allow your games and game saves to live on your console and the cloud so that you can access them and play them anytime, anywhere. I'm definitely not even close to being a full believer in Google's commitment to gaming yet, but I do love that they are pushing the industry forward, and the fact that we're seeing a collaboration between Sony and Microsoft is exciting as hell. And speaking of collaborations, I'm hoping that we see more cross-platform multiplayer games. I feel like almost every major release is getting this feature, and I'm just hoping it trickles down to every game that's coming out. There's no reason not to have multi-platform support, and I'm really hoping and excited to see where it's going in the future. And hopefully when you're playing these games across different platforms, you have a new way to communicate with your friends. And I would love to see a cross-platform Discord partnership come into play here. Discord teaming up to allow integration with the PlayStation 5, Next Box, Nintendo, and PC would just be a huge win for gamers everywhere. If you have not used Discord, it really is the best communication app I've ever used. It's simple to use, jam-packed with features, and offers fantastic audio quality for the low price of absolutely nothing. You can sign up for Discord Nitro also, which is their premium service which gives you benefits that sweeten the deal like free games, different emojis, bigger uploads, the list goes on and on. And I think having this be the new default communication app for these new consoles, and already having a strong foothold in PC market, would just be a ginormous win. Alright, so moving on from that, let's talk about backwards compatibility. I love playing the latest and greatest games, but sometimes you're just in the mood for an old game to run through. And all the props go to Microsoft for this one. They are working on having integration for the next box to be able to play any Xbox title, going all the way back to the original. And that's truly impressive, and it's something I hope Sony and Nintendo take note of. Obviously, we're not going to be playing old cartridges on the new Nintendo hardware, but I would love to have classic titles available to play on Nintendo and Sony platforms digitally, whether it's the form of streaming or subscription services or they're just available to purchase, I'm hoping that we see it. And yes, I obviously know this is a huge undertaking and something that would take up a ton of resources and time, but these classic games should be made easily available for everyone. They are the games that laid the foundation for gaming today, and it would be awesome to have an easy way to access and play them. And now moving on to the last thing I'm hoping to see next generation is new peripheral support and customization. One of the best parts about playing games on PC is the amount of choice you have with everything. Your keyboard, your mouse, headset, graphics card, processor, monitor, controller, all of this can be changed and customized to your preference. You have a ton of freedom, and with consoles you can choose a lot but not nearly enough. Microsoft does a really good job with their controllers and variety. I mean, don't get me wrong, Sony and Nintendo have some great color options, but it feels like Microsoft has triple the amount that they offer. And with their Elite controllers and custom ones, it makes you really want a lot more from Sony and Nintendo. I mean, there's really no reason I can't get custom controllers for the PlayStation and the Switch. Come on, Nintendo and Sony, please step it up. And speaking of these controllers, I wouldn't hate it to see cross-controller support. I know this one is a huge long shot, but if you own multiple consoles and have some friends over, I don't really see why you couldn't use a PS5 controller on an Xbox too. 
Yeah, I'm sure developers are not going to want to include additional button schemes for their games, and I doubt they're going to want to have Sony's icons in there, or vice versa. But it works well for PC, and I don't see any harm in letting gamers have the flexibility to choose what they want to play with. I think this is probably the least likely thing that's going to happen next generation, but I think it'll be pretty cool. So that is my wish list for the next console generation. This next year is going to be one of the best ones in gaming history. We have some of the biggest titles ever to come out, and we're getting two brand new shiny consoles to play on at the end of the year. Exciting times, and I cannot freaking wait! But that is it for me on this one, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching, as always. And please, be sure to comment down below, because I want to know what's on your wish list for the next generation. I really do love reading these comments and seeing what you guys have to say. But for real, now I'm officially done. Thank you again, and until the next one.